What is up you guys, Gold Pony here today in the 2018 Lexus RC300 F Sport, courtesy of Bobby Ray Hall Lexus in Mechanicsburg, PA. It's been a couple of years since I've driven this one and I remember loving it last time. So as always, you guys, let's start with pricing. And to the start, the RC300 will either come in rear wheel drive or all wheel drive variants. Rear wheel drive version is gonna start at $44,745. All wheel drive is gonna start at $47,070. Then when it comes to the power plant on this one, actually depending on if you go with the rear wheel drive or all wheel drive, the engine setup is going to differ. For instance, if you go with the rear wheel drive setup, you are gonna get a two liter turbocharged inline four cylinder engine. That one is gonna put out 241 horsepower, 258 pound feet of torque, power of course sent to the rear wheels through an eight-speed automatic with paddle shifters zero to 60 time and that one comes in at approximately 7.3 seconds with the top speed of 143 miles per hour and mpg numbers coming in at 22 in the city 32 on the highway that's pretty impressive but notice how different the numbers are now for the all-wheel drive setup powering that one is going to be a 3.5 liter naturally aspirated v6 putting out 260 horsepower which by the way is a five horsepower bump from the 2017 RC300. And with that one, power is going to be sent to all four wheels through Lexus's all-wheel drive system. But on that one, six-speed automatic with paddle shifters as opposed to the previous eight-speed I just mentioned. And zero to 60 time, a full second quicker coming in at 6.3 seconds with the top speed limited to 130 miles per hour with that one. And MPG numbers 18 city 24 on the highway with the all-wheel drive setup. But so that with either engine setup that you go with, there are several different driving modes you have to choose from, including Eco, Normal, Custom, Sport, and Sport Plus, which is actually a driving mode specific to the F Sport trim line. But what those driving modes are going to do is adjust the throttle response, the shift points, and if you go with that Sport Plus driving mode, that one is actually gonna adjust the steering sensitivity as well as the suspension system as well. And so, but now let me put it in that Sport driving mode there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test out the paddle shifters here, and I'm gonna put the shifter all the way to the back and to the left, which is gonna give me full control. And let's see how quickly we can get this one here up to speed. shifters are definitely quick reacting very impressed there wouldn't have minded a little more power on this one i do have the all-wheel drive as well but that's what the rc350 is for of course but so then to go along with that acceleration braking is equally important and once again the braking setup will differ when it comes to the rear wheel drive versus the all-wheel drive setup rear wheel drive is going to give you four piston front calipers with 14 inch ventilated front discs 12.2 inches in the rear and the all-wheel drive setup is actually going to give you two piston front calipers with 13.1 inch ventilated front discs 12.2 inches again in the rear but overall when it comes to the braking feel this one definitely stops very quickly so it is definitely a more than adequate brake setup for the RC300. But so that it touched a little on the handling and the steering feel, I did just put it in Sport Plus driving mode. Definitely has a nice weight to it. Did want to mention that first. And since we got a straightaway, <laughs> once it gets into the upper RPMs, I will say it is quite a nice pull to it, but lower RPM range definitely could use a little more power in my opinion right there at least. Back to the suspension once again. Of course with the F-Sport trim line, you will get a F-tuned suspension. Also the F-Sport is going to give you an adaptive variable suspension as well, which really gives you the best of both worlds because not only will it adjust to different road conditions giving you a smoother ride, but it will firm up the suspension during heavy cornering and give you a little less body roll as well. And by the way, when it comes to ride quality, probably because of the adaptive variable suspension. Definitely no issues here. I drove here in a Civic today and I can tell you it is a million times better than that. So the RC300 is definitely absorbing Pennsylvania's road imperfections very nicely here. And then when it comes to visibility, actually I have no issues. Sometimes with coupes, you do have some issues with visibility, but this one is perfectly fine. Second row headrests also shrink down a good bit kind of into the seats if those rear seats aren't in use as well. So that helps with visibility once again. So definitely no issues there, but Enough with the driving dynamics, you guys. Let's check out the exterior, which is where the RC300 really shines on this one. Here it is. It's to start on the exterior. I first did want to start by mentioning there is a new color choice available for the 2018 RC300, and that color choice is called Flare Yellow. You guys gotta check it out on Lexus's website. It's actually pretty nice. And that color is gonna replace Molten Pearl, kind of orangish color that you saw last year. But anyways, up front there is an F-Sport specific front grille with lower grille inserts as well to the sides projector beam led headlights with automatic feature and i will say there is an available triple beam led headlight setup available for around 12 ish hundred dollars also led daytime running lights will of course come standard on this one 
Make your way to the side. F Sport badging is going to be found in those front fenders. Also, body colored power adjustable side mirrors with integrated turn signals. And those side mirrors, by the way, are auto dimming exterior side mirrors. So that is pretty cool and something you definitely don't see in many vehicles. Then looking down at the wheel setup, you do get F Sport specific 19 inch split 10 spoke alloy wheels. Did want to also mention, since we're looking at the side here, there are F Sport lowering springs available from the factory. Go figure. That's pretty sweet, but that's going to tack on $659 if you wanted that. Make your way to the back. F Sport badging around back. LED taillights as well. Rear spoiler is available. I do have it on this one and I personally think it looks a lot better with that rear spoiler but that's going to tack on $400. Just below it all dual exhaust outlets with chrome tips. So as always you guys here is that exhaust clip. So now since we are around back, if you wanted to open that hatch, there actually is a button on the key fob, so simply press that if you like. Once opened up, cargo capacity is going to come in at 10.4 cubic feet, and if that was not quite enough space, those rear seats do fold down for a ton of added space if you needed it there. Make your way to the rear seats, rear legroom comes in at 27.3 inches, so I'll give it a shot for you guys. I am even 6 feet tall and it is definitely going to be cramped for an adult, but for a child it should be perfectly fine back there. And by the way, those rear passengers actually do get rear ventilation for added comfort back there as well. Make your way to the front seats. They are F Sport bolstered front seats for the S Sport trim I have today. And they are definitely very comfortable, bolstered very well for heavy cornering. They're gonna hold you in place better. So that's always nice. And they are power adjustable and heated and ventilated. Looking forward, there's a tilt and telescoping steering wheel. Now one is power adjustable as well. And it does come with a perforated leather and it is heated for the all wheel drive version. And you do have that F Sport badging at the bottom as well there. But, but then when it comes to the startup, let me first start by showing you guys the key here on the one side you have your lexus logo and when you flip it over lock unlock and again that button to pop the rear hatch but it is all keyless entry so simply put your foot on the brake and press that engine start button which is located just to the left of the tech display up top there and once started up since we have the f sport trim level you will get lfa inspired gauges up there so that was lexus's previous supercar and what's really cool about these gauges is that there is actually a button on the steering wheel when you press that button it slides that center gauge display from the left to the right so it gives you a little different view so i am definitely a big fan that they took that from the lfa and put it into all the f sport trim levels so that's going to give you a ton of different things you could scroll through like how many miles you have left until you hit empty your average speed average miles per gallon there's a compass up there your radio information bluetooth information and a couple other things as well but make your way to overall interior quality on this one you do get aluminum foot pedals with the f sport also aluminum trim details as well as a perforated leather trim shift knob up there and since we're looking up top there is a black headliner along with the sliding moonroof if you go with that option that moonroof by the way does add an additional eleven hundred dollars if you were interested but so then make your way to the tech on this one there is a navigation package i wanted to mention that one adds around 1700 but that bumps the screen size up to 10.3 inches and that will be a high resolution display screen but that's going to give you things like bluetooth and audio streaming and form app suite 2.0 which gives you pandora iheart radio yelp weather sports and a bunch of other information as well and you can check out your radio settings of course up there and by the way when it comes to the sound system standard setup is going to come with 10 speakers however there is an available mark levinson surround sound system for around 2700 dollars but that's going to give you 17 speakers and 835 watts and that is the one i have today so let's turn on the radio you guys and test out the clarity of that one Oh my gosh, you could feel the bass and definitely plenty loud. 835 watts tends to do that, so Mark Levinson's system is one of my top two sound systems, I would say. Absolutely love it. Big fan. And then last thing I wanted to mention on that screen is when you do put the RC300 in reverse, you will have a reverse camera for actually all trim levels, but that is going to let you know who or what is behind you, and that is going to lead me into safety. And so to start, there are front side and side curtain airbags, also driver and passenger knee airbags up there. In the back, there is latch, aka lower anchors and tethers for children for the rear car seats. Also standard is hill start assist, along with the blind spot monitor with rear cross traffic alert, also standard. And so, but anyways, that is about it for this one you guys thank you so much for watching be sure to like the video and subscribe feel free to follow me on social media at the bottom of the screen there and i will see you guys in the next review stay gold